So as you may know by now, we are traveling around the world and staying in Airbnbs, and Airbnbs are always hit or miss. And our stay in Hong Kong has been a miss. It's really our first big miss, but we want to show it to you anyway. This is the opening uh, to what we affectionately call Wi-Fi Mansion because we can't pronounce what the words are. I'll show you what I mean. Let's go up the steps. So there you go, Wi-Fi Mansion. That's why we call it, you saw the words there. Um, this is always disconcerting when you see a sign like this. So yeah, that's a sign that necessarily isn't a good sign. So we are on the seventh floor and we're gonna take the elevator up. We affectionately call this elevator the Tower of Terror because it just unexpectedly drops like three or four feet uh, twice on our way up. So I don't know if we'll be able to get that in camera, but every time we've taken it, we just have these sudden drops. Um, not big drops, but enough to give you a little bit of the shakes. So again, we're on the seventh floor. Um, again, Wi-Fi mansion. Not sure how else you would say that, but we are on the elevator going to the seventh floor. And again, right there. Right there, Tower of Terror elevator, if I ever saw it. This is always nice. So, when you see doors or bars on your doors, you do have to wonder what you got yourself into, but we got bars on our doors. And here we are. And there's the fam right there doing some school. So after you make it through the Tower of Terror elevator and come through the bars on your doors um, this is the space and essentially you have your kitchen complete with um, your very own pet supply of cockroaches so that one's dead but we tried to feed the live ones with our crumbs every day um, and there were when we first walked into this apartment uh, cockroaches literally went scattering up into this oven hood. So that was our first impression. And then it got worse. So here is our two burner stove. We have not cooked a single meal in here because this is what the storage uh, looks like. As you can see, no one has cleaned this place in well over two or three months, if not a year. <laughs> there is grime all over, um, and we're really afraid to touch any of the dishes, plates, pans. We didn't even get a dish rag to clean dishes. Um, we don't have any hand towels. We have four bath towels, and that's it. So anyway, this is the kitchen we don't use. Now, to their credit, we have used the washer, which is looks newer and cleaner. And so we have made use of the washer. Um, but you come around here in the living room and you go into the bathroom. I didn't make much noise, that's good. So the bathroom, pretty typical, nothing too bad except there's plenty of mold and a nice nasty bathroom smell um, emitting from the toilet uh, that was here. 
and then the proverbial mold in the grouting. Um, again, we just don't think the place has been clean in a long, long time. But that's about it for the bathroom. And then the uh, sleeping areas. So there's actually two bedrooms and then a um, just an odd bed here in the living space. But let me show you one bedroom is here. I think Autumn is in here. There she is. I'm sure she's doing school. Um, you can see the bookshelves have no shelves. So they become lounge uh, assistants for when you're working on the computer. And a few shelves in this one, but many shelves missing, including the bottom shelf, which leads into a pit that we put Eden in when she's bad. No, we don't do that. But anyway, pretty interesting uh, setup here. And of course, it looks like they had several things attached to the wall. These are on all the walls in the bedroom. Um, I don't know if they were shelves, what was in here, but um, anyway, they made no effort to try to cover them or fix them or replace them, whatever was there. So let's go into our bedroom. And that's how we dry our clothes on the road. And our bedroom is much the same. Bed stuffed in the corner there, which is not a big deal. Um, but again, just really dirty. Um, we have drawers here, or drawer space here without drawers. And um, I should show you this. This is pretty much, if you look in any space in this house, you will see <laughs> this. As you can see, who knows how many months of hair, grime, and dirt that is. But it's pretty much made us not want to do anything but sleep here and avoid touching anything in the apartment, which we've done pretty much quite well. There is a third sleeping area and that's right here. We have not really used that except to just sort of store our stuff. Um, but nothing really remarkable there, but it is nice if you had four or five people that gives you three separate sleeping areas. So anyway, that's the tour of the apartment like, or the apartment. Like I said, um, we are doing this uh, traveling bit uh, doing mostly Airbnbs just because we want to sort of live within the culture and experience it. And we are certainly experiencing this particular culture. Um, and not that that reflects the entire culture of Hong Kong, but uh, yeah, sometimes you hit a home run, sometimes you swing and miss, and we swung and miss on this particular Airbnb. Airbnb. So any comments from the peanut gallery? Anyway, yeah, not our favorite apartment, but that's okay. It's been an experience. I can't wait to go tomorrow. So we're excited to leave and hopefully we have better luck on our next Airbnb. So anyway, this is Andy's place in Hong Kong. So if you happen to be looking for an Airbnb place in Hong Kong and you come across Andy's place, this is much more reflective than what the pictures show. The pictures do not show um, that this couch is here. It's a much nicer fold out bed type couch. Everything looks clean. There's stuff on the walls. It's really a little showcase apartment. They did a good job of dressing it up. But this is the real deal here. So if you're looking for Andes in Hong Kong, you know what you're looking at now. So anyway, thanks for joining us. Give us a thumbs up if you liked our Airbnb review. Um, subscribe, we got way more coming your way. And comment, maybe your worst travel nightmare experience. Let us know. We'll see you later on the Fantastic Four. It's not a piece. No, not a devil it is happy singing the gratitude, practicing the loving for you. Be my, be my day, be righteous.